Anyway, but yes, so uh, tweet us. Uh, uh, we've got uh, Quach who's going to be reading your tweets. The hashtag is Hamina, like we said. But right now, we have to get started with our very first guest in studio from Young Santis Kenya. Now, it is an initiative by the Ministry of Education of the Republic of Kenya and the Irish Embassy. It is modeled after the hugely successful BT Young Scientist and Technology exhibition that has shaped the attitude of young people to STEM for over 55 years in Ireland and complements the Kenya Science and Engineering Fair. Now, YSK's mission is to inspire and empower the next generation of young scientists, innovators, and entrepreneurs to transform their local and global communities through science, technology, engineering, and math. Everything that Quatch failed in, it's just <laughs> <laughs> makes me happy. But I've got these young scientists with me in studio. Now, they have a STEM outreach and mentorship program. This is at y it's, uh, YSK that exposes high school students and teachers to different science um, experiences, mentorship, and more. They give opportunities to Kenya's youth from every county, all 47 of them, to demonstrate their capacity for innovation and showcase their scientific talents. Plus, they also have a winner's boot camp, which is really cool, that provides an opportunity for inventors to move to the next level of actualization, including product patenting, further research, introduction to entrepreneurship and commercialization. All projects that qualify for IP protection are offered this at no cost by the government of Kenya, courtesy of a 2019 presidential directive. Now, since 2018, the year of their pilot program, YSK has reached over 200,000 students across all 47 counties. And I have some geniuses with me in studio this evening. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, Hello gents. Mukopoa. Assalamu alaikum. All right, so let me start with introductions. Ladies first. So, who do we have Thank in the studio? So much. My name is Kausar Khanna from Nairobi Jaffrey. I'm representing for the social and behavioral science category. All really right. Glad to be here. Wonderful. The only girl in the panel. May I just add? Uh, may I just add? And then who else do we have? My name is Danson Ihachi from Olympic High School. Mm -hmm. I love to Nani. I'm um, Kennedy Matete from Olympic High School, the technological. Okay, oh, you didn't finish the rest, but okay. <laughs> and then we also have? I am George Jaramba. Yeah. I'm a former winner of the Young Scientist Kenya. Yes, so yeah. well, congratulations to you. Yeah, thank you. Tell me, how was it? How was the whole experience of winning? The experience was nice. It was really great. Yeah. Uh, I participated uh, under the category of biology and biotechnological, mm -hmm. and I took the first position. Oh, wow. Yeah. What was your project? My project was about uh, safe execution of mosquitoes. Yeah, we created a device that uh, would attract mosquitoes and we trap them and kill them. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so was that your first idea initially when you were doing your research? Did you have several and then you just went? Well, I had them? several ideas yeah. at the beginning mm -hmm. and then I came about the idea of the mosquitoes and then step by step I went ahead uh, adding f other factors that attract and trap mosquitoes mm -hmm. and also went ahead and used the principles in physics and sciences, the Bernoulli's principle to suck in the mosquitoes. It was a bucket like, mm. yeah. Okay. So, Dan, so Nanyinipia, I want to hear about your project because I see you even have it with you in studio. So, take me through. What, what do you have? Our, our project is called Smart Walking Stick. Smart Walking Stick is a stick that is programmed to help the visually impaired people to walk with ease. How so? How does it work? Exactly? The stick has a, has a sensing part that, that incorporates the uh, ultrasonic distance sensor. The ultrasonic distance sensor detects an obstacle from a range of distance that is programmed and then sends the signals to the Arduino. Arduino thus sends the signals to the buzzer which produces a sound warning the user. Okay, so just please, I want you to show us in motion um, what exactly it would do. So you can, you can put, okay. All right. So Kennedy will make it, okay. Okay. So I d you can use the microphone and explain to us. So when the when the stick nears an, ob an obstacle, let's say this is this is uh, as this is an obstacle. Uh -huh. The ultrasonic distance sensor will sense will detect the obstacle, and then the buzzer will produce the sound. So when 
de Don Lonza Colmia. Wow. And how long did it take you to, to you know, come up with this Actually, project? How long? It was about a week. Just assembling, about a week. Uh, assembling the components is the most hardest part. They are, mm -hmm. they are not locally available, and hence we had to ship them from China. So that is what took part. But when we started the project, we had an idea, so it, it, did, took at ma it, it did took as much time. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was a whole investment for you guys. You were busy importing things. All right. So, Kausar, tell me about your project. All right. So, like I said, social and behavioral sciences. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a more theoretical field in science in of itself. So, my project is the e-voting, basically looking for an alternative voting system for Kenyans to participate in. And I think inspiration for this project came uh, when I was watching the news and the anchors and how there was this anxiety, you know, sort of atmosphere. And people were like, you know, what's the point of going to vote? And that it was not convenient to go to the polling stations, COVID, safety concerns, things like that, right? And I think I drew from that and I was like, why don't we make it, you know, make the polls come to the citizens instead of the citizens going to the polls? And so I came up with, uh, I did research on like voting ethics and what people uh, want from technology and how invested we are and then you know later developing an alternative voting system yeah wonderful and so well spoken Thank you. well done we don't see as many young women um, in stem why do you think that is oh wow all right so I think uh, it, it's definitely changing but mm. at a very low pace because I would tell you maybe in terms of ratio you'd see one to three, yeah. one girl to three boys yeah. in the science fair and even national exhibitions. And I think mostly <coughs> it comes from your socialization, how you're brought up. So I'll even give you an example. I'm a humanities student and it's, it's really ironic for me to be participating in a science field because I want to do, I do things like history and very theoretical things, but I still think we can draw from those principles. And I think that girls who actually get into humanities mostly, especially in Kenya and the 844 system right they are drawn to humanities and we still we sort of find them becoming very silent and you know not not active in these kind of fields so I just want to say that there is a space for you there is representation going on and I just think that girls need to be just given that platform yeah mm. so as to speak yeah I love that okay so now tell me about the winning winners boot camp I hear there's a boot camp yeah. what happens at the boot camp so at the boot camp, uh, winners get advised on how to continue their project, how to patent the project, how to uh, visualize the project in terms of business. Because once you do a project like this project, you'll have to take it to the market and sell yeah. it and make an income. Mm. So in the boot camp, you are told all the procedures to do that and you can get uh, sponsors to help you in that. Yes. Yeah. So you're taught how to pitch as well? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, sort of like what Danson um, will be doing very soon, Danson and uh, and Kennedy. So very soon, Pianyam Tauza, because I think I think there's a market. I think there's a market for this. Okay. So now we do have um, someone from uh, YSK, Vanessa Inziani. Vanessa, where are you? I need you to just join us real quick. I have a few questions I would love to ask you. Now that I have you here, I might as well just join in. Yes. Okay, there we go. So just come. You can. Okay, so you, we can just we can give you a mic. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. No, it's okay. Watch out, watch out, mama, watch out, mama. Don't turn it on. It's fine. It's fine. Yes. So now this is incredible what you're doing for young people around the country, Vanessa. But tell me more about YSK. Um, so I think like you gave a great introduction of what YSK does. Yeah. So we are just trying to see how we can give kids a chance to be able to be young entrepreneurs, young innovators in the country, young scientists. And um, with Kenya, we've realized, as she said, most people prefer humanities. Everyone is looking for a faster way of getting money. Mm -hmm. No one really wants to become a doctor or an engineer. That takes about six years or eight years in school. So everyone is trying to just find a faster way of being able to do things. Yes. So for us, we're trying to see how we can be able to show them that this is what we need as a country. We don't necessarily have to go abroad for us to get the skills. We can be able to just build a Kenya for Kenyans mm -hmm. so that we can at least um, 
reduce. For example, we had a case whereby we had doctors from Cuba, and you know we have doctors in Kenya already. Maybe they're not paid as much, but at least we can see how we can just entice them to start early and to be able to create their own jobs. We have many youths who don't have jobs in the country as well, so if they're able to just create that for, this, for themselves, sorry, yeah. and then they just continue to pick up from there. Yes, so they have a market, Yeah. because I think this is a genius idea. Mm -hmm. How do you connect them to potential clients or to partners who would then help them get this to market? Yes, so from the exhibition that will be happening now next week, um, it's open to the public. We have some of our partners joining us and anyone who's interested just to see what the young innovators are doing. Mm -hmm. So from that specific platform, anyone who's interested may approach them and speak to them. However, each of these people must pass, pass through YSK for us now to be able to support the students. Then during the boot camp, if anyone say you're interested in how you can be able to support them, during the boot camp, we can contact you and let you know that there's a boot camp happening and we can now link you up with the students to see just how they can be able to go on. And of course, Additionally, in 2019, we got a presidential directive. So every project that is um, viable for patenting and that they are able to get their projects um, patented or just trademarked, yeah. we're able just to connect them with KIPI and KIPI now assist the students with their progress. So, so far we've had one group of students get a trademark for their project. They got it this year. They also participated in 2019 with George. So we hope that um, from what they have achieved, we can be able to see some progress from their projects. Yeah. yeah. Um, why, would, why would you tell anyone, George, to participate? Personally, uh, the YSK has left a trademark in my high school oh, history okay. because uh, to date, it's the only system that has followed me up in my studies, in my endeavors. They've called me, told me, George, we have a video, can you, because I'm a video editor. They call me and ask me to edit their videos. So they are following up on me and everything that I do. So I'll advise all the students, and I wish YSK was there when I was in Form 1, because mm -hmm. I'll definitely do it for the four years in my high school. Yeah, yeah. OK. Danson, have you, have you, did you guys win? Did they win? So they're just they're presenting. Pitching. So they're going to be pitching. Yes, today, this year, sorry, next week on Monday and Tuesday. Monday. Oh, you don't have a microphone. I'm so sorry. You were saying, ah, Vanessa? Sorry. Yeah. Um, so these are participants from this yeah. for this year. Okay. So definitely, if you come to the Sarit Expo Center, you'll find them there and just get to learn more about what they're doing. Yeah. So we hope that both of them would be able to win awards this year during the award ceremony. So we're just keeping our fingers crossed. Yes, I wish you guys all the best. Now we do have a poster with all the information, so we can just pull that up. Um, as you've said, so it's happening uh, the end of this month, right? Yes. yes. And how much are the tickets for it's people free. to participate? It's free, use the microphone. <laughs> it's free, tell us, so yeah. there it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, of course we'll be at Sarit Expo Center from, nine to about 4.30 for both days. Um, it's free entry for everyone. Uh, we'll have a ton of activities for you to be able to participate in. This means we have a STEM village, we have some of our partners and exhibitors exhibiting. We have the students who are our main guests for this specific um, exhibition. So you'll be able to see also what they're doing. Um, we have students from across 32 counties in the country. So of course, as far as Samburu, um, as far as Kilifi, um, even Mandera as well, we have some two boys who have their projects, so you can be able to come and witness that. There are lots of giveaways, so the t-shirts that the students are wearing here, if you come and participate in some of the programs that you're going to be having, you will be able to win something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you win overall, Mtafanyanini? Like, uh, if we win overall, like, we want to make our project big. Like, now, what it does, it only detects the obstacle. So if we win, we are maybe looking at ways of expanding it and making it to give, in case of the object, it, yes. it, it tells what object is in front of the, okay. is around the user. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what about you? If you win and they announce your name and they say you're the overall winner, how will, you know, what would you do? I have a very crazy idea. I think just being at Sarit and witnessing all the peers and their projects, I think once uh, we get the reward or whatever we're going to win, uh, apart from expanding my project and making it maybe working on the practical side of it, which isn't a lot really, I would definitely invest in other people's projects. So even if they're going to pitch it as a business, I want to be like a shareholder and yes. I want to pitch in. So Smart. yeah, okay. <laughs> so soon <laughs> enough, you'll be paying your own fees. Yes. I like that. <laughs> I hope your parents are very excited about <laughs> it. Oh, they are. <laughs> 
So now I am blown away and I'm so impressed by what it is that they had presented yet to present. Um, I, I don't know, the ingenuity for you when you're watching them present must blow you away every single time, right? Um, definitely it does. I mean, um, like he said, no, Young Santi just came about in 2018. That's the first time we had our first competition. Mm -hmm. Before that, uh, we we're used to all participating in the Science and Engineering Fair. Um, for the older people, I think you and Quach possibly know it as Science Congress. Yes. So, you know, with that, um, there was no follow-up for the students, and I think what we're offering um, the students now is something that would be great. It's also great that we are back from two years of COVID where we had everything happening virtually. Mm. So we just hope everyone would be able to come and join the students and just support them and see exactly what they have been working on, especially with the short school term. Yeah. And we just hope that everyone would be happy about everything. Okay, so now for people to follow it up online, uh, how can they get a hold of that information? Yes, so if you're not able to join us on uh, at Sarit, you're able to just follow our social media pages. So on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, we'll be live. Additionally, also our YouTube page will have it running uh, concurrently. Um, we'll also just have a different link whereby you can be able to join the sessions. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. That's Vanessa Nziani from uh, YSK. We have to my left, George Njaramba, 2019 YSK winner. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and then we have Kennedy Matete, Danson Ihachi, Kutoka Olympic Secondary School. And from Nairobi Jaffrey Academy, we have Kausar Asif Khanna. Thank you so much, guys. And I wish you all the best. George, are you a judge this time? or I'm a volunteer. Oh, you're a volunteer. Yeah. Okay. He's yeah. like, I will tell you how I work. <laughs> all I do is win, win, win. It's all I do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Vanessa. All right. So now, Quach, I don't know where you are, but I understand uh, we've got the meme challenge. I mean, uh, Yes, quite. You know, first of all, when I was uh, lo hearing the names of your panelists yeah. and what they have done, yes. I couldn't resist thinking about Ihachi made it. Like, <laughs> DJ e is the only one who gets this joke. I also got the joke. <laughs> I also got the joke. But um, what did you ever come up with in high school? Did you ever participate in S Congo? <laughs> Science Congress, Quach, why are you acting like you don't know what that is? Ah, Science Congress, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was straight talk to talk, Elisha? <laughs> 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 you know, uh, you know, 